Okay, so some people have been asking about making designs in fonts, um, especially for cutting boards, and I wanted to go over this with you a little bit, just because it's really easy to take something that you already have and uh, create your own, versus actually just having to rely on other people making fonts. So this one's really simple, but it should get the point across. Basically. I'm just using a really big bold font right now. Um, this is impact, so you can change it to whatever you like. Um, but as you can see, I just made a big capital B out of it. And as always, you want to make sure that once you get to up to your size that you're doing, that you want to go up to type and create outlines because that's going to give you an actual vector shape versus the live font. And that's very important with when you're going to do the clipping. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So you can see right here I've pulled in a mandala. This is just um, clip art, so um, it's not one that I've designed, it's just one that I picked out to uh, kind of give you some detail. Now you select both of these together, and you can see this one's, um, I put it to fill just because I kind of like that better. Uh, it was um, also, you can use outlines, uh, it all depends on the look you're going for, and I'll get into that after we uh, actually clip it. So you're going to select both of these and you're going to go to your Pathfinder window and in Pathfinder you're actually going to do one that's called Crop. Now the thing that I tell people beforehand on this is you want to actually, sorry, skip a step, um, copy your letter because the letter is going to go away when you do this. So do it so you can see. Go ahead and drag your mandala anywhere you want to make sure that you're happy with the placement. Select both and, oh, where'd it go? Crop. So now it's actually created a shape out of this and you'll see that when I take my mouser, my mouser, when I take my mouse off of it, the cursor, um, it shows that you don't have that shape anymore. So since you copied your B, you're going to do um, control F, which is paste in front, and that actually gives you your B back. Now, obviously, I forgot to copy while it was an outline, so go ahead and just switch it over to stroke. And usually I like to oops, um, use red as my cut line, and I use uh, pink as my engrave. So you can just go in and oops, modify that if you want. Since we're doing, oops, there we go. I'll have to go into the actual um, compound path that it made in order to uh, redo the color on there. But basically you can see that you get what you're after um, in a fairly easy fashion. So you can do this with uh, custom patterns, you can do it with other florals, um, and you can customize it to whatever you're working on. So if you need a script font and you want to use that same pattern, then you can easily just change this outside layer, um, or shape I should say, and make it whatever you're looking for and that'll give you a lot more control over your projects and being able to customize things so that it's not like every other piece that you see out there because everybody has access to that font. I hope this helps!